Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Jennifer. In this video, I'll be showing you the new DeWalt Tough Series Lighted Tape Measure. The model number for this is DWHT35625S. I received this yesterday in the mail. Here's what it looks like when it comes right out of the box. There was a little hang tag with it with information. And I'm going to actually open this up on camera just to see how evil it is to get out of the packaging. Typically the tape measures are the worst. Here is a close up. And this is quite thick and it looks like it has a bunch of cardboard kind of in the middle. So, and it says, try me. And the thing that they are touting with this is that it does have an LED light, which none of my other ones have that. So that is new to me. Um, and apparently to this line too. I wish these would just come straight off, but they never seem to want to. So I'm gonna use my trusty knife. And there is a power cord in here, so I want to be careful cutting into this so that I don't slice that. All right, so I've, I've kind of opened that up, and here is the little power. Are you serious? All right, so that was not at all what I was expecting. Um, that That's really dinky. Wow. Wow, they put you on a short leash with this one. Um, I mean, they do include it. I probably will not use this when I go to char. What the heck? How are you gonna plug that in? That's not gonna work for me in most circumstances. So, I, I mean, it's nice that they tried, but um, that's almost a why bother. So, but it does come with one. All right, so then on the back here, let's see how bad this is to get off. I couldn't find my right glove and watch me get cut on this plastic. They always make these so... All right, let's see if I loosen this up. Maybe that'll help. Okay, so that's what I would suggest. Take these, these inside cardboards and kind of slide them over. And then that frees up some area here. And then you can just slide that off the belt clip. And then this comes off pretty easily. So actually that, comparing it to other ones where it's enclosed in plastic further, that seemed, the cardboard seemed a little easier and less dangerous because that, that plastic, I've been cut on it before. So here's a close up look at it. Okay. And I will tell you all about the features here in a second. Perhaps the coolest part of this tape is the LED light at the bottom. Here's where you turn it on and off. It does have a continuous runtime of three hours with an automatic shut off of one minute of inactivity. I don't see anything just reading over this that talks about how many lumens that is. Here's where you would recharge it. And it seems like it's probably water resistant, this compartment. You're gonna need your own charger though that plugs into the wall because that is not included. Now you can also hook this up if you have an adapter. And I actually kind of think that this is probably what they intended the user to do. Um, I think that they assume we're gonna be out on a job site and that you're going to have an adapter, but I work at home and use outlets. So this is probably the way I will go. But this makes more sense to me being that it's so short that they would expect you to use it in that capacity. This is a side note. Um, if you are going to be traveling on an airplane for work, you cannot put this in your checked baggage because of the charging capabilities. It does have a durable rubber overmolding housing with a 100 foot drop rating, which, oh my gosh, if you're working at that height, you should definitely have this on a lanyard. That being said, there is a place here there's a slot that you could slide a lanyard through. Okay, so here's my XP that I love. I kind of prefer the lanyard being able to go through there versus, but they don't do that on this one because the lighting is down there. And so they've gone ahead and done a channel like that for your lanyard. Um, I don't know that I love that being on the brake. My hands are not super strong. So I do like that there's a little bump here in the release 
where this one, I have a hard time sometimes because it's flat. One of them I have, I got a heck of a time getting that break. It must not be this one, but, and it's probably set up more flat like this one. So I do, that is an improvement for me. That break was easy to release. Also, and I really like this feature, the tape is double-sided. So you can get a reading from both the top and from the bottom if you are working overhead. The first six inches has a rip shield coating to maximize the life of the blade and reduce breakage at the hooks. The information keeps mentioning the 17 feet of max reach. And when you read what they're talking about, it says max reach based on maximum extension of an end user. So I'm guessing they mean standout feature. Um, and I'm gonna test that here in a second. And this is gonna be a little difficult. Okay, there's eight feet. I, I there's no way. 10 feet. Are we going up in the air with this? 11. I honestly don't know that anybody, <laughs> I don't know that anybody would need to use this. Oh my gosh. It broke at almost 13 feet. I honestly don't know. Now they said 17 feet of reach and I'm assuming they mean stand out because they're always reporting, to, you know, they always try to do more and more of a standout feature. Um, I, I don't know that on the, in real life, you're gonna need more than six feet anyway, eight feet maybe. I, I did not get 17 feet of standout, I got 13. I don't like doing that anyway, cause I don't like to purposely put kinks in my tape. Here's a look at the clip, which is a little different. Here's my XP, how it's more of a rectangular and this is more scooped in shape. Sorry, I don't mean to flip everybody off. Um, but yeah, see, it's a little different. Now in the Tough Series, so here's a look at my previous Tough Series. I'm pretty sure this is the last one that they sent me. Here's a look at them side by side. So the hook though, and this is a little beat up because I've used this a lot. So, I mean, this, this feature is about the same. Now, one thing I do like on the other ones, I think the one that is really has a tough break, that must be in the house, but it also comes with a magnet that you can put on, which probably would fit on this too, but this does not come with a magnet on this hook. So already right here on the back, I can see it is three and a half inches, which I appreciate them giving us a nice, I mean, some of the other ones are like three and three eighths or something. So at least, I wish they would use a whole number, but at least, you know, it's a half, which is a little easier if you are trying to add things up in your head. So it's three and a half inches this way. And approximately, it's funny, I've got to use a tape measure to, it's about, about three and an eighth high and about two inches in width. The actual blade looks to be about an inch and an eighth in width. One thing I don't know is how long it takes to recharge and I don't know how many lumens that light is. And I also don't see a finger break here at the bottom like some of my other tape measures have and I love that. It's made in Thailand and has a lifetime limited warranty and one year electronics warranty. It sells in the $30 range and I'll include shopping links in the description for your convenience. So let me know if you have any questions about this product and also let me know which of the features I mentioned is your favorite about this new tape measure. Also, don't forget to subscribe here on YouTube to see future videos and look me up. I'm on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook as well. As always, I thank you so much for watching. Until next time, take care.